Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I know I haven't made a video in a long time, but just an update starting from March. I did get a job. I matched successfully in obstetrics and gynecology. Okay, let me see. Oh, okay. I matched. Oh my god. I don't really know how to feel. All these years of waiting. Wow, congratulations. You have matched. Oh, we just got the glory. Let me show Yay. this screen. <laughs> so we check at Friday, March 21 at 1 p.m. to find out where you're matched. <laughs> And not too long ago, I did receive my medical degree, so now there's an MD behind my name. I'm so excited about that. Looking forward to the next things that I'm going to be doing, which is residency. Um, so I'm really excited. Between March and now, I've just been having fun and taking advantage of the time off because I wasn't doing any rotations or anything. So I went to France and I've been visiting family. And with um, the month of May, it's been really busy with graduations not just mine but other people so it's been a lot of celebrations and just time to relax before um, things pick up and get really busy so I wanted to talk today about um, I guess the whole how did I get to this point and I've been thinking long and hard about how I was gonna talk about this because I don't think that my path has been traditional. Um, I always knew that I wanted to be a doctor. I just didn't know how I was gonna get there. And luckily for me, my father, he's a doctor as well, and he is a gynecologic oncologist. So I did have that role model there to kind of help me along. Um, in elementary school and growing up and middle school, um, I did a lot of reading and studying, even though I still didn't know how I was going to get to the end goal, which is where I'm at now. Um, I did my elementary schooling back in England and then my middle schooling here in the United States, as well as my high school and college. So in middle school and elementary school, lots of reading, school was the focus. And then when I got to high school, again, I had to focus a lot on my studies. So some advice that I would give to anybody considering medicine or even any postgraduate education is you have to face your books. You have to make sure that you're getting good grades um, and all the other stuff is really secondary. Um, during high school, I was involved in athletics. I think I was in some sort of sport every semester, but again, the focus was on doing well in school. And in high school, I think I realized that I had to put extra effort into my studying when I started taking calculus because that just seemed like a whole different language. And that's when I really started to struggle with academics. So another tip that I would give to anybody considering medicine um, or in high school is when you start to struggle, make sure that you ask for help. And there are a lot of resources out there. Um, a lot, you could get a personal tutor. I think I stayed after school 
and worked with that math professor um, just to help me pass because it was just really difficult and a lot of times um, those math subjects it's a lot of practice and maybe somebody explaining those concepts to you. So during high school all of us met with our guidance counselor and my guidance counselor was very supportive and I applied to a wide range of colleges and my transcript wasn't amazing but I did well in high school. I think I was in the top of my class and I applied to a, a range of colleges and one thing that my parents instilled in me is that education is very important and not to limit myself um, in terms of education. So I applied to local schools as well as some what they call REACH programs. And I think it's good to have a good balance between um, schools that you think you have a good chance of getting into and also to REACH a little bit. So I did apply to some of the Ivy League schools and luckily I got an early acceptance into Cornell University and I was so excited. Um, it just, that was the start of me understanding that God can open doors for you even when you feel like you're not good enough or smart enough. So fast forward to um, preparing for college. Um, I'm the oldest so I was the first one out of my sisters to go away to college and the first thing I noticed is that my studying habits were horrible and it took me a good I think one and a half years to adjust to um, college, college life and balancing the pre-med courses as long, alongside the other courses. I was a human biology health and society major so I wasn't a hardcore biology or chemistry major. I also um, liked that my major allowed me to take design courses as well as human development courses. So two pieces of advice for anybody in college is first to really hone in on your study skills and find out how you study. If you're a visual learner hone in on that. If you're auditory hone in on that and if you're tactile or a mix of everything. Just make sure that you are studying based on how you learn. Um, and then the second tip is um, to pick your major in a smart way. If you didn't do well in science courses in high school, I'm not saying that a miracle can't happen, but you want to pick a major that you can do well in and excel in um, because the GPA is still a big factor into getting into medical school alongside all the other factors. So if you don't learn anything from this, it's that you still need to do well in your courses. Um, but I'll touch on if you don't in a little bit.